Hi everybody, my name is Quad Laser, and today I'm going to teach you how to set up Ableton Live with your audio interface so that you can output it into OBS to stream on Twitch, Mixer, or any other platform. The great thing about the way that we're going to do it is that you're going to be able to hear the metronome in your headphones without actually sending it out to your audience. This is great for live performance if you want to keep things tempo locked. The steps we'll be going over is installing Jack Router and setting it up, installing voice meter, and then setting up Ableton Live to output into OBS properly. Okay, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, now that we're at the computer, we're gonna install a couple pieces of software. This is the most technically challenging part of the setup, but it's well worth it. Once we're done with this step, we're gonna be able to send clean audio to OBS, as well as hear the metronome in our headphones without sending it out to everybody watching on Twitch. The two pieces of software we need to set up right now are Jack Router and Voice Meter. I'll provide download links to both of them down in the description. Listen, you've installed software before, so I believe in you. Install both of those pieces of software. Okay, now we're gonna install Jack Router. This is definitely the most difficult step, but bear with me. Once we're done with this, everything else is a lot easier. Once you have Jack installed, you're gonna wanna locate an Explorer window to C Drive, Program Files, x86, Jack. From here, you're gonna wanna launch the application QJackCTL. It'll look like this. From here, click on Setup, and then make sure you're in Settings and look at Interface. You're gonna use this drop-down menu to select your audio interface from the list. Once you've selected it, what you wanna do is copy all of this and hit Control C to copy it onto your clipboard. From there, we're gonna close it out and do some other stuff. What's important is that we have that audio interface name copied to our clipboard. Close out a QJack CTL and then make a shortcut of jackd.exe. It might give you a warning that you can't create a shortcut in this directory. That's fine, just click OK and it'll make a shortcut on the desktop. Right click on the newly created shortcut and hit properties. Up here in target, we're gonna type some things to add command line arguments to this executable. I told you this was all gonna be a little confusing. I'm sorry, bear with me, it's gonna be worth it, I promise. Start typing after the quotation mark. Command line arguments you wanna add are dash capital R, space dash S, space dash V, space dash D port audio, space dash D quotation mark, and now you're gonna hit control V to paste in that audio interface you had selected before, another quotation mark, space bar, dash R44100, that's your sample rate, space dash P256. Oh, <gasps> please. Once you're done typing all of that, hit apply and hit OK. Now you have a way to launch Jack Router so that it'll communicate with your audio interface. At this point, go ahead and double click on the new shortcut. You'll see a console window that looks like this. At this point, if you haven't installed Voice Meter, go ahead and do so. I provided a download link down in the description. Once Voice Meter is running, you're going to want to click this A1 and select ASIO Jack Router. This connects you to the Jack Router that we just installed. Last step for Voice Meter Banana is to click on Menu, go down to System Settings, and click down here, you might see two dashes, you might see some numbers. What you want is patch ASIO input to strips in one and two. And then for in two, you wanna see two dashes and in three, you wanna see two dashes as well. Okay, that's it for voice meter banana. You can minimize this now. Now we get to get into the fun stuff. We can finally launch Ableton Live. If you're interested in seeing this all put together live on Twitch, I stream on Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I put the link down in the description below. Once you're in Ableton Live, you're gonna to wanna to open the settings menu by hitting control comma, or you can click on options, preferences. From here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're in the audio tab, and then from the driver type, make sure you have ASIO selected, and for audio device, you wanna go down to jack router. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to do some stuff to make sure you're getting sound. You may have noticed that my meter lit up, but you couldn't hear anything. That's because my OBS is actually expecting output from the voice meter, which Ableton Live is not running into yet. That's where the real trick comes in. What you want to do is you want to go back and open up QJack CTL and then click on this connect button here. What it does is it gives you this sort of uh, patch bay. The way we want to think about this is we want Ableton Live running into voice meter then we want voice meter running into OBS. Okay, this is a little confusing to look at, but right now you can see that Ableton Live 9 is not currently connected to voice meter pro. So what we want to do is we want to open up both of these and we want to connect output one that's your left channel of Ableton Live to input one of Voice Meter Pro. Click on both of them in order and then click on connect. You also want to do the same thing for output two. That's the right channel. 
We're going to leave three and four alone for now. But what we're going to do is we're going to close Voice Meter Pro, open up system, and then connect output three from Ableton Live to input one of system, and then output four of Ableton Live to playback two of system. Oh God, I love coffee. Okay, I know what we did just now was really confusing, but let me explain it to you. What we did was we connected the left and right channel output of Ableton Live to the voice meter, and then we connected three and four from Ableton Live, which are extra channels, to the headphones of your system. What that's gonna allow us to do is send only the main output from Ableton Live to OBS, and then we're gonna be able to hear the metronome track in our headphones, but not send that to OBS. If you're interested in more than just the basics of getting your stream set up to work with Ableton Live, then make sure to subscribe because next week I'll be doing a video that focuses more on getting Ableton Live set up to do more of a live musical performance. One other thing you can do here is disconnect system from Voice Meter Pro. You don't need to do that, but what it'll do is it'll turn off your microphone from going into OBS unless you specifically arm an Ableton Live track to pick up your microphone. That's personal preference. Okay, now that we're back in Ableton Live, we wanna check to make sure we are actually getting audio output into OBS. Sure sounds like we are. Now we wanna check to make sure that the master out is set to one and two and that the Q out is set to three and four. Q out is what Ableton Live uses for the metronome as well as a couple other outputs. Remember that we connected three and four of Ableton Live output to the input of system one and two. Since we're only sending voice meter output to OBS, we'll be able to hear the Q out, but OBS will not. If for some reason you don't see the three and four options, go back into settings for Ableton Live and then right here under channel configuration, click on output config and make sure that one and two stereo and three and four stereo are turned on. Now we can start playback and turn on the metronome to prove that the metronome is running here on Q out and I can hear it in my headphones over here. However, you can't hear it in OBS. Now let's take a quick look at our OBS settings and make sure we have everything set up correctly here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go into settings and then click on audio and make sure that your mic audio is set to voice meter output VB audio voice meter VAIO. You don't wanna check this auxiliary one. Now at this point, it's probably a good idea to mute all of your other audio sources because you're not gonna need them. You're also gonna to wanna to go into the filters of your microphone and make sure that you don't have any audio filters turned on. The reason for this is that when you're outputting music from Ableton Live, you probably don't want a noise gate or noise suppression coloring the signal in any sort of way. If you're doing non-music streams, you probably want to have these turned on. Okay, now let's do a quick test from Ableton Live and make sure we see the mic meter moving. Great, looks like it's working. At this point, you can do anything you want with Ableton Live while you're live from OBS on Twitch, Mixer, or any other platform. You can do anything here you want to do to put on a good show. Preferably, I like to do a lot of stuff with loopers, but that's all up to you. Okay, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found something useful in this video. Thank you.